Ya Ali Madad, and welcome to Sundays with us. My name is Zara Lalani. Today is November 1st, which means we are just two days away from Election Day 2020, the last day to vote in this year's national election. The last time you and I chatted, we covered a quick history lesson on voting and how to register to vote. Our segment today is part two of mobilizing the American Ismaili vote, called By the People, For the People. We'll be meeting Jamaati members who are civically engaged and are doing their part to ensure the utmost participation and turnout of the Ismaili community in this year's election. Before we get started, a few words from U.S. National Council President al Karim Alidina. My brothers and sisters, Yali Madad. Welcome to a very special episode of Sundays with us. Today's episode will be the last of our telecasts in this every Sunday weekly format. We started these back in March when we had to temporarily close all Jamaat Khanas around the country due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It was our desire to provide the Jamaat an opportunity to come together on Sundays and stay connected, even if virtual in these utterly uncertain times we found ourselves facing. Since then, Sunday after Sunday, the Jamaat has come together at this time slot to get inspired by Molana Hajimam's videos, get educated on topics ranging from cooking to mindfulness, and get entertained by awe-inspiring performances by Jamaati members around the country. We also had the opportunity to celebrate Navroz, Imam Day, and Eids on this platform and got inspiration on the night of Lilith al Qadr. Over time, the USA institutions have shifted many of our programs to virtual formats, and we are delighted that today the Jamaat has many, many more options to participate in virtual Jamaati programs than we could have ever imagined back in March when we started. During this time, we've also even had the launch of Ismaili TV, which allows us to receive content from Jamaats around the world. And we have started returning to work or school in person and even been able to reopen some of our Jamaat Kanas in a phased approach thus far. So the Jamaat institutions have decided to end these weekly Sundays with us program and instead to continue many of our other virtual programs, such as webinars and Zoom-based sessions during the week and on weekends. Inshallah, we will also continue to come together virtually for various celebrations and festivals as appropriate. Additionally, we will continue to provide the Jamaat with periodic video updates through existing institutional platforms. And of course, Ismaili TV is available 24 hours a day with virtual content. This platform of Sundays with us, weekly telecast, has been made possible through the untiring and creative seva of so many talented and dedicated volunteers and through the participation of the Jamaat. Planning, creating, and broadcasting is no easy feat for volunteer-based project teams who have during these last several months also dealt with the pandemic and their work and personal lives throughout. So I take this opportunity to express on behalf of the Jamaat, our gratitude and thanks to all the volunteers who have made these telecasts possible. Thank you for your hard work and dedication in helping us stay connected. Today's episode, focuses on civic engagement, particularly voting. The deadline to vote is coming up on Tuesday, November the 3rd. As a community that prides itself in our civic engagement, we should strive to have 100% of eligible voters within the Jamaat get out and vote. If you or your family members or your friends have not voted, please take the opportunity to educate yourself on issues and candidates and then go out and vote and exercise this most important right and privilege you enjoy 
as a citizen of this great country. Finally, as I have been mentioning week after week, I want to again emphasize to you the continued need for continued health and safety vigilance and precautions during this pandemic. Just because schools and workplaces and even our Jamaat Khanas are reopening, this should not mean that we let our guard down. In fact, we need to take ever more precautions and wear our masks, maintain physical distancing, exercise good hand hygiene, and avoid unnecessary gatherings. As always, I wish you and your families best of health and happiness. Thank you for your continued support and cooperation. Ya Ali Madat. The global pandemic that the world is now engulfed in may well prove to be the defining challenge of our generation. It is, of course, a health crisis, but it is much more than that. Hundreds of millions of students have had their educations interrupted, livelihoods have been disrupted, food security has plummeted, and the lives of women and girls have been particularly severely affected. For decades now, Aga Khan Foundation has been working closely with its sister agencies in the Global Aga Khan Development Network to make significant investments in improving the quality of life of some of the most marginalized communities in Africa and Asia. Over this time, we have had the great privilege of support from thousands of Americans from across the country who have expressed their desire to contribute to a better world. Never have those investments been so important. The track record of investments in education and in health and community institutions and women's empowerment have been exactly the resources these communities have used to address the challenge of COVID. And it'll be exactly those kinds of investments that will help those communities deal with the challenges of building back after this crisis. Today, I'm delighted to announce our first ever AKF virtual voyage around the world. For the next several weeks, we'll be inviting you on a journey around the world to visit some of the countries where our investments over the last several years have made a real difference. So you can meet the men, women, and communities who rely on your support and are converting it into real tangible progress. On December 6th, we'll gather together in a virtual homecoming celebration, which you can enjoy without even leaving your home to commemorate all the many, many acts of generosity which will fuel our work into the future. The time for leadership and commitment and generosity is now, not only because the needs are so great, but because the opportunities for making transformative changes, meaningful changes in the lives of millions of people is in front of us. I hope you'll join us. Please join us as we commemorate this year, this important virtual voyage around the world. Thank you. As I mentioned during our last session, I'm an educator. So today I'm going to give you a quick lesson on civic engagement. We hear that phrase commonly used all the time, but what does it mean exactly? Civic engagement means working to make a difference in the civic life of our communities and developing the combination of knowledge, skills, values, and motivation to make that difference. It means promoting the quality of life in a community through both political and non-political processes. A morally and civically responsible individual recognizes himself or herself as a member of a larger social fabric and therefore considers social problems to be at least partly his or her own. Such an individual is willing to see the moral and civic dimensions of issues to make and justify informed moral and civic judgments and to take action when appropriate. By this definition, civic engagement can mean many different things. For example, it can be volunteering your time at a local nursing home, or building a community garden for your neighborhood to enjoy, or cleaning up a highway, 
perhaps fundraising for a particular charity or cause that is near and dear to your heart, marching peacefully in protest against social justice issues, running for political office at the local or state or national level, registering friends and family to vote, registering yourself to vote, and finally, voting in elections, not just the presidential elections that take place every four years, but every single election, primary elections, special elections, even school board elections. Now you'll meet some Jamaati members who have been civically engaged over these last few months. These are college students, young professionals, business owners, and senior members of our community working to educate the Jamaat about the importance of voting and participating in the civic space by the people, for the people. Yali Magad, my name is Rahim Ismail. My name is Yasmin Ismail. I'm a registered voter in Virginia. I am a registered voter in Texas. Over the last few months, we've been working with senior members of our Jamaat, our Golden Club members and eye care beneficiaries and others to educate them about the importance of voting and how to register and vote in this upcoming 2020 election. The reason we wanted to help our seniors was a practical one in that we were trying to figure out how my mom could vote absentee since she was going to be out of state on election day. And so, since we had gone through that process, we thought it would be helpful for us to share what we had learned about checking voter registration, registering to vote, and how to apply for a mail-in ballot with other seniors in our Jamaat. इस बार कोविड-19 की वजह से सीनियर के पास अंडरलाइन हेल्थ कंडीशन है और पोलिंग स्टेशन जाकर वोट करना नहीं चाहते हैं उन्होंने मेल इन बैलेट का ऑप्शन का एडवांटेज लिया है इस इलेक्शन में हम सबको वोट करना जरूरी है हम यूएसए सिटीजन हैं तो हमारी जिम्मेदारी है कि हम ऐसे उम्मीदवार के लिए वोट करें जो हमारी बेहतरी के लिए काम करें होपफुली यह साल ज्यादा से ज्यादा सीनियर वोटिंग में हिस्सा लेंगे and the response from seniors that we have talked to has been incredible. The many virtual programs that have been set up for our seniors are great venues to get the word out. And our seniors are engaged, both because, as my mom just said, voting is the right thing to do, but also for practical reasons, such as healthcare policies, the impact of COVID-19, and other policy matters that actually impacts them on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you have not yet voted, we encourage you to make your voices heard on or before election day, November 3rd. Thank you and Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Hi, my name is Robin Farishta and I live in Chicago, Illinois. For the past few months, I have had the opportunity to work closely with an amazing team of volunteers on communicating the importance of voting to the Ismaili community. My primary roles include creating messaging for social media and creating messaging for the regional and national Ismaili insights. I'm helping out with this campaign because this election is so important for the future of our community. How we vote in our local and national elections impacts all of us, especially the next generation of Ismaili leaders. By voting, we show that we are compassionate and responsible members of society. So I encourage you, make a voting plan, do your part for your community and your future by voting on or before November 3rd. My name is Yasmin Jusa. I live in Texas. I'm involved with Smiley Women's Group. During one of our monthly meetings, we were been given the opportunity to lead the civic engagement and voting initiative. And I immediately volunteered along with another lead, Yasmin Virani. My responsibility was to leverage the IWG's active platform to encourage women to care about civic engagement and get registered to vote. My role was to help women see how and why their voice matters by making the issues relevant to them. I wanted to empower women to have a table discussion with their families on politics, manifesto and policies each candidate is presenting. So when they go out to vote, they are prepared. I wanted them to know that we women can create opportunities for ourselves, our families, the Jamaat, and a better future for our children 
just by having our voices captured. It made me feel so happy when I saw the responses from women. They were registering with their families, partaking in early voting, and empowering each other to do the same. When we were going to have the civic engagement webinar, Your Voice, on IWG platform, I remember sharing it with my central IWG team, and they were astonished to learn that we have smiley women in politics. All this has made me realize that I can start small, I can make a difference by simply calling my Senate office. I never thought it was that easy to do and so impactful. Thank you. Dosto, Sugarland, Texas, I am Mukhi Dr. Mehdi. I am your host. The election has been started for the election. एक जमात की हैसियत से अगर हम चाहते हैं कि इस मुल्क और इस सोसाइटी की तामीर में हमारी राय को शामिल किया जाए हमारी राय को इज्जत और एहतराम दिया जाए इस मुल्क और इस सोसाइटी में हमारी एक पहचान हो हमारी एक जगह हो तो वोट दें वोट न सिर्फ हमारी जिम्मेदारी है बल्कि एक अमानत भी है अगर हम मिलकर भरपूर तरीके से वोटिंग में हिस्सा लेंगे तो इस मुल्क और इस सोसाइटी को अच्छा बनाने के अंदर अपना एक भरपूर किरदार अदा कर सकेंगे और एक बहुत बड़ा असर पैदा कर सकते हैं वी कैन मेक अ डिफरेंस लिहाजा मेरी गुजारिश है कि आए एक अच्छे शहरी की हैसियत से वोटिंग में हिस्सा लें और अपना भरपूर किरदार अदा करें थैंक यू आई एम सो इंस्पायर्ड बाय माय फेलो जमाती मेंबर्स इन दीस टेस्टिमोनियल्स यू हर्ड ईच इंडिविजुअल्स व्हाई their reason for being civically engaged and encouraging others to be engaged. Before I leave you today, I wanted to share a few parting thoughts. As Milana Hazri Mam once said in a 1989 interview, quote, everyone's life is a passage and perhaps the most one can do is to have left something behind during that passage, which contributes and assists people to look to their future with more confidence and more stability, more hope, unquote. confidence stability hope as we approach november 3rd here are three things to remember elections have consequences you have the power to decide on the quality of life you want for yourself and future generations voting is your chance to stand up for the issues you care about like public transportation or funding local schools voting means using your voice Elections are decided by the people who go out and vote. Take some time and learn about platforms and candidates. If you don't vote, someone else will make the decision for you. Your power is in your vote. Voting is an opportunity for change. Do you want to make a positive impact? Voting gives you that chance. Support the candidates and ballot measures that can help your community, state, and even the nation for the greater good. Our communities are made up of friends, loved ones, neighbors, and children. Some may not know how important voting is, while others don't have the privilege. Make the decision to vote for yourself and those around you. Thank you for joining me today. We'll talk soon. Yalimzad. Yeah,